Good morning. How are we doing today? Uh, I'm getting some stuff ready to go out and do some seed sales um, stuff, but um, I, can, I can pick it up. I'm going to open this up. Thought I'd show you. So I ordered this on Saturday, I think, because I hadn't found my nine in like a month and a half, two months, I hadn't seen it, had been looking for it, thought I lost it. So then you order one and you find the old one about two hours after that. And I thought, you gotta be kidding me. Um, which by the way, a few of you asked where I found it. Um, somebody left a comment on one of my YouTube channels where I was complaining that I couldn't find it and that I had been looking for it because I looked through all of the tractors, the I mean, I cleaned the cab out of the old combine out completely. We looked through everything trying to find this. I had looked through my truck. I stopped at my uh, old truck that's at the service shop getting worked on, thinking maybe I had left it in there. No go. Somebody says, check under the seats, because if it's got a magnet on it, it'll get stuck to stuff, and it won't roll out, and you won't see it. Sure enough, it was under the seat in my new truck, my, uh, or my, my Ram, and had gotten magnetized to the uh, rails in there and didn't come out and I missed it. That's where it was. Anyway, we've got this one, which I hear relatively decent things about. Um, mostly that, that this camera is what this one should have been from the beginning. So sounds like the processor on it is better and yeah, I don't know. It seems excessive to have two or really three GoPros because I have this really old one but um, you guys will appreciate it I guess I'll be able to take some cool shots and do multiple things faster um, I uh, occasionally try and do some equipment montages where I mount GoPro and move it around and get different angles and stuff and now I'll be able to do it twice as fast because I can move two cameras and not have to get out 15 times to do that so that will be nice um, yeah, a couple of mounts, nothing too fancy there. A couple of batteries, so that's good. My wife's not very happy at me for having a second one, but they had already shipped it. What was I supposed to do? I'm not sending it back. It'll be fine. I also bought this uh, protective housing for it, which you don't really need with these cameras because they're pretty tough as it is, but I do have some rather severe conditions that... Uh, might put a camera in that might help protect it you know inside the back of a combine just random ideas and places that i thought i could use one so i got that where are we at guys i think the last thing i filmed was my camera right yeah anyway uh it is now four o'clock i have spent all day out uh, with my sales rep doing some seed business stuff trying to stop and see some guys and handing out some plot data and selling seed and doing whatever um, we're going to put some cameras on this combine here in just a minute, but first, let's go out here and see something. Brock came today, and look what he did to our concrete. We got a mess. But, you know why we have a mess? Do you know what all this is from? Do you know what it's from? I'll tell you. It is from this head. Why? Why would we clean up a bean head in the middle of harvest, you ask? Well, because our new one is in. Yeah, looks like we need a little. Yeah. It's better than it was. And uh, we're just getting it a little cleaned up because we have traded it off. We've got a brand new 40 foot draper coming. And uh, it is at the dealer and I believe ready to go. Although they haven't called me and said come and get it yet. So I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that tomorrow we're gonna take this one up there, have them lift it off and uh, swap it. Put the new head on the trailer and bring it home. At least that's my plan. So we're gonna help dad clean up this concrete here, I think, a little bit. Phil's loading trucks over there, hauling some corn out. Yeah. Need a scraper. Oh, he's got a scraper. I'm gonna run it over. I'll have to 
scrape it in the bucket there, but that was easier than me doing it all. Well, this isn't the most effective way, but it's the easiest way. Yep. And then we'll scoop it in there. Okay, well that's better. All right, uh, let me hit the lights. So I've got some cameras for this. There's three spots that are pre-wired for cameras. Two of them are on the back here. One, that wire sticking out right there. Another one up there on the unloading auger. And then there's that one in the grain tank that I showed you, was that yesterday, the day before, whenever it was. And uh, I got the cameras, so we're gonna put them on. All right, so here are our cameras. We've got three of them. These are a Voyager camera. So I was uh, when I was trying to figure out what cameras this combine is pre-wired for and what it takes. Um, they are a uh, what was the Motec or something camera that it's wired directly for. But John Deere actually sells this specific camera with an adapter cable to make them work for it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you about these in just a second, but this is what we're going to put on, so I'm going to take them out to the shop. I think I've got the adapter cables out in our little parts barn, so I'm going to run out there real quick. Even better, somebody brought them in. They were sitting on the bench. So this end plugs right into our camera, and that screws into what's uh, on the combine already. So should work. Should be pretty easy. Uh... I want to put the bracket on before or after? Before. We're going to put it on loosely. Got to take the little screws out of here. Screw the bracket to the camera. Okay. I learned a while ago when you're going to film yourself doing something that you're going to do multiple times, you don't film the first one because you need a practice round. Anyway, I got this camera mounted up. They got this little bracket here, and I don't like that it's only on one screw, but the bracket holes do not line up and match up with the... the they don't match. So we're gonna try it like that. It's got a little adjustment in it. We can move it around if we need to. That's the one that's gonna tell us when our grain tank is full. We've gotta get a zip tie and tie up all the extra wiring there somehow so it doesn't get pulled down in the grain. But that should work. Now, we'll work on the ones back here. So the first thing we do is bolt our bracket up to where that goes. I gotta tighten it down yet. And then we'll get our camera. This, yeah, I guess that light's okay. Seems all funky and crooked, but I guess that's where it needs to be. You guys want to know something frustrating? So I got those cameras, right? I did not buy them from John Deere. We're going to talk about that. Deere sells the same cameras. They also sell the adapter cables. So when I asked the dealer about this and getting the adapter cables, I said, yeah, they're 1821. I have an invoice here. Right there, it says... 1821. Here's the adapter cable with the price tag on it. What's that price tag say, guys? $13.99. Now, I know it's only $3, $4, a little over, times three of these. But if you're going to sell it to me for $18.21, at least take the dang price tag off of it. What the heck? Well, anyway, I got the camera up there. We'll have to um, go turn the screen on and look at it and see what angle and adjustment we need to do. Here's the last one. This one's a little bit different because the mount, the holes on the bottom there are threaded and they can't get to the back side of them very easily. So I got a couple of different bolts. I'm gonna try and see if they thread into these holes or what exactly the threads are. Might be that one. Yep, that'll work. So, where did my other camera go? Right there. Okay, there's that one. I had to drill the hole in the bracket out a little bit in order to make the bolt full that fits the threads fit through the camera bracket, but it should work. Is it just me or does that camera look crooked? It's probably crooked. Anyway, uh, they're on there. They're all hooked up and installed, so let's go in the cab and see what we can see. We'll give her a minute to wake up. Okay. Uh, menu. Uh, uh, video. Right there. Camera feed. Oh, sorry. I should show you the actual screen, not above the screen, huh? Analog 2. 
Oh, where's one? Okay. So that's the one on the back of the combine. Uh, that way. That looks better. That's the one on the end of the unloading auger, which maybe you could tip it down a little bit, but probably not too bad. Let's see. Also should be that way. And number four, that one's in the grain tank. Also needs mirrored. Sweet! That should work. This one might need adjusted once we get some grain coming in to see what we can see a little bit. Maybe down, maybe swing it. I don't know. Why does it say two, three, and four and not one, two, and three? I don't understand. Well, but they are. I don't understand. Settings. Let's go up there. Edit cameras. Ah, analog one. What is that one? I don't know. Maybe there's another input somewhere that I don't know about. Camera one. Hmm, anybody know? Let me know. If you know, you know. I don't know. Scan. Not that I want them on scan. I'm not going to scan through these cameras, but sure what the heck. Turn them on. See what happens. If you don't play with stuff, you don't know. Edit triggers. That I do want. Uh, unloading auger engaged. Then we want camera. I don't know. What number was it? Three? I think it was three. The one on the unloading auger. Yeah, that one. Okay. Grain tank full. We want camera four. Okay. Grain tank three quarters full. We'll go camera four with a timer for like 10 seconds. And where's the backup? Reverse, no. Reverse separator on, reverse separator off. Yeah, okay. Reverse separator on, we want camera two. Reverse separator off, we want camera two. Is there one for road? There's not. Thought maybe it would have one with the, um, um, when the road mode is, transport mode is on that you could turn a camera on, but it's all right. You can always just go to it. All right. So now when I hit scan, it should. I don't know if that's on or off. Maybe that's on. Seven seconds, I think it said, and it'll just keep cycling through them. Yeah, cool. All right, well, that'll work. I wish there was a um, higher definition quality camera, you know, that was better. That you could see them in HD. Um, but unless I put a separate screen in here, that's not really possible. And from what I've found, 12 volt cameras, at least the ones for ag equipment, just generally have terrible pictures so oh well a couple of zip ties tie those wires up out of the way and we'll be good oh i need to tighten that one up i think that'll work okay i should wash the windows while i got this open that's what i should do here's what i'm gonna do yeah it's clean i already did that to that one so let's talk about those cameras. Uh, so those are a Voyager camera. Um, Deer has a different camera that they use, I guess, some that you can buy from Deer. They're this MoTeC or whatever. They're over $1,000. It's ridiculous uh, for three of them. Um, these are a Voyager camera. They're a fair bit cheaper. Um, and Deer does sell them. They sell a kit for, I think, it, I don't remember what it was. It might have been. Might have been just as much, 1200 bucks for the kit, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, uh, I had talked about needing cameras for this combine right after we got it and that I would look into that when I needed, when I got a chance to do so. Uh, one of you, one of my viewers, uh, reached out to me via email and said, hey, I heard you talking about needing cameras. I have a business. We sell cameras. You know, let me know what you need or see if I can help you find something. Uh, sent me a website link. I started looking at that and he sold Voyager cameras. It's the same thing I knew I was going to get from Deer. So um, emailed back and forth with him and ended up getting them from him. Um, 
I asked if I could give him a shout out on my YouTube channel and he said, well, I'll get back to you on that. Let me let's just wait. So I'm not going to give him the name and, uh, but he was great to work with. Sent him to me. Like I told him yesterday morning, two days ago in the morning that I wanted them and they were here yesterday. They came the next day, uh, did a great job going back and forth, just helping me figure out what I needed to start with. So I really appreciate that. And Tell me when you want your shout out. I will tell you all who it was and you can go buy cameras from him because he did a great job for me. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And um, those will work great. I'm going to go down to my house and take a look around before, uh, before it gets dark here. And we'll see if it's firm enough I can dig a trench tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, I got a call from my dealer a little while ago. I was, I was going to take that head up and swap it tomorrow. But he's going to come pick it up in the morning, and then they're going to bring us the new one. I don't know about tomorrow, but they're going to bring it to us when they bring it to us. So that's good. It means I don't have to. Look, I got a delivery. You know what that is? Glitter. First seed treatment shipment of the year. Glitter. Today was not a very good drying day. The sun never came out like I thought it was going to. Um, so the water's still draining through the tile and stuff, but it just didn't dry off on top a lot. It feels less soggy, sticky, gooey than it did yesterday. I think we can dig here tomorrow. We should be able to. Um, they got the siding, some more siding on the house here. Worked around the side. I kind of felt bad about um, digging a big hole where they had to work, but that's what I had to do. So I did, and they worked around it. It'll be fine. We're gonna go around and go inside too. We got some siding around the front side of the house and some of our shake shingles on up there. Nice. They're very brown. I wonder if my wife knows that they're that brown. That's all right, they look fine, they'll be good. Eh, nothing on the porch yet, but starting in that wall. Cool. I think probably one more day and they'll be pretty well done here with the siding, so that'll be nice. We are doing some stone. You'll notice this edge on the front, so the bottom side of that will be stone. This whole bump out wall will be stone. And then the bottom on this side and the bottom across the front of the garage here, which there's not a lot of wall space here, so but that'll be stone. So the drywall guys have been working in here. They're doing a heck of a job. They've got the ceiling primered, coated, and they think, yeah, we've got wall texture back here. Sweet. Ooh, the floors are a little sticky. It's a fine orange peel texture. This is what we went with. And uh, it's everywhere. Oh yeah, they did do the ceiling as well. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So they probably have got two more days here. And then we'll be done with drywall. Which will also be very good. They got this whole side of the house done. Sure looks like it. Yes, they do. Excellent. That is fantastic. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Um, like I said, I think we're going to try and do some digging tomorrow, get that water line and gas line buried. And then um, I also got to clean up my seed warehouse a little bit because I have seed coming on Friday. I got a truckload of corn and beans coming. So that's good, I guess. It's very early, but I learned a long time ago when they want to ship you something, you don't tell them no, otherwise you might not get it or you might not like what you get instead of it. So, yeah. And we might get a new bean head, which would be super, super exciting. So not that we're going to run it tomorrow, but we might get it. Uh, there's chances of rain starting tomorrow evening and then on to Friday and Saturday. They're calling for another inch. I really hope we miss it, but at this point, eh, what difference does it make? It's already wet. What's a little more, right? sarcasm anyway um it might dry up eventually and we'll get back in the fields to combining and doing fun stuff but for right now we're finding other projects to do so thanks for watching today um if you have any questions and comments feel free to leave them down below and uh i don't know why you would at this point but subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i promise i do make more exciting videos when we're in the fields and actually doing some stuff so see you guys